go. in a day. I just woke up, I got ready, took Katsu for a little walk and today I'm gonna show you what I eat. I am working on a couple new recipes for some new plants. Lately I've been trying a lot of new recipes which I have really been enjoying. I feel sometimes when you like something you start to eat it over and over and then at one point you kind of get enough of it. Well, that's, that's my experience. I don't know if you have the same thing. I am back on my morning matcha routine. I've been really cutting out coffee in the last few weeks i've just like really noticed how freaking anxious it makes me i just feel such a pressure on my chest with it i just don't feel good even though i sometimes love the taste of it what i do sometimes now is like when i go out to a cafe or something i get a decaf matcha contains less caffeine and it obviously also has l-theanine in it that really calms down your nervous system so very often they put L-theanine in like supplementations as relaxation and things like that. So it's naturally much. Um, I think for breakfast, I I don't have inspiration. So I think I'm going to look on a Soulsink Body app to see what we're making. And yeah, I will take you with today. Okay, let's look at the Soul Sync Body app. Here you can find all my recipes and also all my meal plans and obviously my workouts. Let me see. Ooh. Okay, I know what I'm gonna make. This is from the seven day no sugar challenge. Um, I prefer not to have super sugary breakfast because otherwise I get so hungry throughout the day. So I think we should make this chocolate avocado smoothie. I love this recipe. It's made with frozen spinach, avocado, cacao, and it's basically tastes like a dessert. Ooh, and so many of you made it as well. Best smoothie ever, I love it. There's one secret ingredient that literally is such a big game changer. It was actually Lauren who recommended it to me. Is this Elements Electrolytes. It's chocolate sea salt and it sounds absolutely disgusting because you can make just water with this and it literally tastes like chocolate milk, but I'm gonna make it in my smoothie. So adding some electrolytes and some salt into it. So it has a lot of extra benefits for hydration. So. Yeah, I have uh, avocado, frozen spinach. I love doing a morning smoothie with more greens because with just fruit, you actually get a really big sugar spike. My rich protein powder, I actually have a discount code for you guys, which I will pop here and link as well. I'm gonna use some pea milk, love it. And then some cocoa powder. So let's make the smoothie. I don't know why, but earlier this week when I made it, it actually looked like a chocolate smoothie. It was brown. I think I added a little bit more spinach, so right now it looks a little bit more green, but... Mm. I think this has about, let's see, it probably has over 30 grams of protein. This is something that I really try to prioritize during my breakfast, and I think 
that made one of the biggest difference in my personal hormonal health. Even if I'm not hungry, I always try to have breakfast and I always try to have at least 25 grams of protein and I just noticed such a shift into my whole body with my energy levels throughout the day. Obviously, I got my period back. I think also my skin. I had quite some melasma and I think it, that is connected to hormonal imbalances. So I feel like adding that protein in into the morning helped regulate my hormones. And you can see that in all different types of areas. Sometimes it can be so simple. You do not always have to... <laughs> I don't know, have like chicken sausage and eggs and things like that. It can literally be as simple as a smoothie, but just be mindful of obviously what you put into it. But I'm gonna eat some breakfast. Mm. Well, I have some work done and then I will see you this afternoon. on meetings literally all morning. I barely left my computer. I have a very busy afternoon as well right here. It is a full on Monday. So honestly, I just wanted to make something really quick and easy. And my kind of go-to what is very easy is a little sandwich. And I already meal prepped two hard boiled eggs because I knew I was gonna be really busy today and I kind of had limited time. This is actually a recipe that I am kind of still testing out because we are doing a new really big four week nutrition and fitness program of Sourcing Body for the month of May. I like to test all the recipes myself. I like to make sure they're well balanced, that they taste good obviously, which is so important because Healthy food, honestly, it needs to nourish your body, but you also want to really enjoy it. Like I cannot even imagine eating boring meals all the time. So for today, we're gonna do a egg salad sandwich and I'm gonna add cottage cheese with it. And I absolutely love cottage cheese because it is really high in protein. So it's an easy way to add an extra protein to your diet. And even if you are lactose intolerant, which you know some people are or quite a lot of people, there is often lactose-free cottage cheese and actually you're able to tolerate it. So something you maybe need to look into, always make sure obviously you don't have severe allergies, but when you have a very sensitive stomach, you can't handle lactose. Lactose-free cottage cheese is the way to go. I really like this brand. This is good culture. What is it? Half a cup has 14 grams of protein. So I also got some gluten-free bread, which I really love. So yeah, let's quickly make some lunch. lunch i got three little toast i put some turkey on there i forgot it at first but then i added it on and egg salad with cottage cheese i guess this is about like 25 30 grams of protein but i will pop it up right here but yeah this looks really really delicious i know this is gonna fall everywhere hmm? i know i'm like this is i'm not this is not cute i really like this gluten-free bread it's really good, actually. It's a little from the supermarket, but... <laughs> I was thinking, either have these like as open boats or serve them as a 
I more as a sandwich more. situation. It actually would be really good. It's like a egg salad sandwich. More like an egg sandwich, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like. Not cute. <laughs> Okay, I was sitting behind my computer doing some work and I almost forgot to film this, but I made another matcha latte. Woo! I'm falling over. And then I was eating some of the new Nakahama Bay chocolate. This is our new vegan matcha chocolate. It's completely reformulated with matcha strawberries and with hazelnuts. Like, look at the ingredients. It is so clean. It's completely vegan, gluten-free, and dairy-free. I'm just gonna show you the bar here. It is so sunny, it's so red. Look at this. This is the matcha chocolate. And it's so, so good. Like, oh, I'm spilling literally everywhere. It's so creamy. It's made with rice milk powder. Really delicious. I definitely, if you eat a lot of it, has some caffeine, so. This is a perfect afternoon little boost with my matcha and my chocolate. And then I like dipping in. Mm. It's available online, so I will link it in the description down below. I finished a 35 minute workout. I thought it was gonna be kind of a gentle burn, but it was not really. It was actually pretty, a pretty good workout. I was really sweating. Need to hydrate. I don't know what it is, but I just ooh, I just love sparkling water so much more than normal water. Whenever Max and I have these bottles, we will finish in within probably two days if we have like 12 bottles because I don't know. I just love sparkling water. Maybe it's because like normal water is like really boring. I don't know. Anyway. I was kind of debating yesterday when I was in a supermarket um, what to cook and what to make and I really wanted to make a mango salsa with salmon because salmon is one of my favorite things to eat for dinner. Surprise for everyone who's been on the channel for a while knows that. It fills you up, it has protein, a lot of omega-3s, omega-6, like healthy fats and yeah. I was gonna grab my mango, which I'm gonna grab right now. The mangoes looked like this, and they weren't really ripe. I was trying to find whole mangoes because obviously when you buy fruit already pre-cut, the flavor goes away. It's also more plastic, which I'm really trying to reduce, but they didn't have normal mangoes. So I got this one and this one looked the most colorful. I don't know, I hope the flavor is gonna be good of these. Hmm, it's not the best, but I feel with a little lemon, a little seasoning. It's gonna taste pretty good. So we're gonna make the salmon, super simple, little coconut sugar, some spices in the air fryer. And then while it's in the air fryer, I'm gonna take a super quick shower. So have it stacking, you guys. This is how you get quick at cooking and make simple and easy meals. So we're gonna make the mango salsa, prep the salmon, and the rice is already done in my rice cooker, so let's make it. ready Ooh, it's like splashing everywhere oh my god i love it it's almost giving me that kind of mexican vibe there are also so many variations you can do with the salsa you can either add avocado in it or even take the mango out put a lot of like lime or different like spices on it i wish i had the spices that i don't know what it's called sometimes when you when you're abroad or even sometimes in la at the fruit stand when you get the mango and then they put this red spice on it and it's kind of like this salty and it's really really delicious and i wish i had it for here but i don't so salsa is ready super easy i made that in like five minutes and then we're gonna prep the salmon quickly this is going to be so easy. We're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil on it. 
some garlic powder. Also another reason why I really like salmon is because you can just make so many variations with it depending on the spices. So you can either make it Mediterranean or more Asian or I don't know, you can just like switch it up a lot. Then I'm going to add some paprika powder on it, some cumin. Then I'm going to add a little bit of coconut sugar because it goes in the air fryer or in the oven. It actually caramelizes a little bit and it's really, really good. I usually kind of stay away from any type of refined sugar, but a little, a little coconut sugar is going to make it taste so, so good. Last but not least, I am making such a big mess here. We're doing a little salt, little pepper, and it's done. I like to put mine on like 385 and then I put it in there for like eight minutes and I feel the air fryer makes it extra crispy and really, really good. So yeah, this is basically what we're going to eat tonight with the rice. I'm gonna quickly clean up the kitchen take a shower and then pop this in and it will be done. I feel this prep maybe it was 15 minutes and then it goes eight minutes in there. So the total of this dinner will be 22 minutes. <laughs> I will also add the recipe in the description down below. So if you want to make it at home, then you know exactly what to do, what to use. dinner bowl is ready so it's white rice with salmon and then with the mango cucumber salsa and I also had a little bit of rice seasoning on it because I just really like that what do you think fantastic this is everything I could have ever wanted in a meal and you made it for me yes and I'm so thankful looking good yum ready we're just going to eat this right now. It is almost that time and I've been trying out some new products from Mary Roots and this is the liquid nighttime uh, multi-mineral. <laughs> is protecting us. It's for less stress, sleep, relaxation. I think it has like magnesium in there, zinc, calcium, vitamin C and D. So I'm gonna take a little shot before I go to bed. I took some earlier this week and I think it really helped me sleep. So there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's what I eat in a day video. Let me know in the comments down below what other videos you would like to see and see you soon.